Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today we're going to be doing a video on the brand new Gucci Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is brand new from Gucci and I was very excited to get my hands on it. As you guys know, I love a bit of Gucci. So I'm going to be doing a review of it today, guys. I'm going to be also doing a demo of three eyeshadow looks. And I managed to use all of the palette except one shade. So hopefully it will be helpful, hopefully it will be useful. So I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family and without further ado guys here is the video when i saw it launched on the gucci website i was like yes please thank you very much i will take it uh it's not the cheapest can't lie it's not that cheap it's quite pricey it's actually more expensive than a pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette which is kind of like top tier in terms of eyeshadow palette priciness but it is gucci and we do love a bit of gucci over here so we're gonna give it a go hopefully it's worth it hopefully it's worth the money but that is what i'm here to let you know whether it is whether you should buy it whether you should try it uh we shall find out so this is the beauté de Year floral eyeshadow palette 145 pounds 148 us dollars let's read the blurb and then let's get into it because i'm going to try and do a couple of looks Hopefully I'll try and make them look a little bit neater than I did with the Pat McGrath. I was rushing through and they were a bit of a hot mess, so <laughs> apologies. It says, embrace your individuality with a luxurious soft textured shadow palette delivering high colour from the first stroke. Designed for you to express yourself with endless creative combinations, it offers 12 shades in various finishes including satin, matte and metallic. The highly pigmented colours are both easy to apply and blend, encased within a gold trimmed black palette with a vintage inspired floral design so it says an eyeshadow refill tray will be available soon so it's saying that once you finish with this if you want to use it as a jewelry box then you can and it can be like a really cute thing to have on your dressing table crafted to suit all skin tones if you order from gucci you do tend to get their dust bags i got one of their very funky rustic dust bags and it comes in their signature gucci packaging which i do love On the back, it's got all of the shades. Ah! So I'm excited to try it. I'm just going to show you guys the packaging and then I'm going to get in to a demo.
So those are the swatches on. I have to say this palette is really, really nice. It is very wearable looking and I feel like every single shade is definitely usable, wearable. You can use it if you want to have a bit of fun, like the blue ones. If you want to do like a mod 60s vibe, then you could go for that bright blue. And that bright blue is actually really pigmented. It's really, really nice, really punchy, a lot more punchy than the white and the pale pink as well, which I wasn't expecting it to be. The silver is stunning, absolutely love that. Really, really nice, really molten, really strong in pigment. The black is lovely, a really nice matte black, uh, which was missing from other palettes I've been trying recently. I like the kind of browns and the taupey shades. There are a, a few similarities between this one on the skin and this one on the skin. They actually look a bit more similar when they're swatched than they do in the palette. This tray is very much removable because when I was doing a demo, it literally fell out and almost dropped and I freaked out. This is what it looks like separately. So it comes out quite easily. I think having taken it out, it feels a bit less luxe when it's out than it does in the entire component. On its own, it just feels like a plastic tray and it doesn't feel very luxurious. And also you don't feel like you're actually getting that many shadows. When you see it like in a tray, it just feels a bit less full, let's say. But I do really like the color story. I think it's really nice. I really like this shade as well, this kind of taupey, taupey mauvey shade looks really nice to watch. So I think I'm gonna start with that. I have to just quickly say I absolutely love the packaging. This is so stunning. It feels super classy, super luxurious, super high-end. I love the top. It reminds me of like English countryside vibes. It's very vintage, it's very cool. Um, English Rose Garden chintzy stuff. It's just really cool. Love the gold trim and love the shape of it as well. It's really different. It's just very like old school, very traditional. The back is pink as well, which makes it really fun. And it's really easy to open, really easy to use. I would just keep in mind that that removable tray isn't that secure, so you can't really be flipping it up and down. Also comes with a mirror, which is an oval shaped mirror. Really cute, really different, decent size, takes up most of the palette, so totally fine size. I'm excited to try it guys. I really, really like the look of it. It is definitely punchy in terms of price. I love the color story. I think it's really nice. I think the color story is definitely makes the price slightly more justifiable almost just because it's very wearable. They're kind of a lot of classic shades. These shades will always come back into like fashion. So in that sense, it's good. In the sense of it being a jewelry box, I don't know how deep realistically it is for it to be a jewelry box. I like the idea of it, but I don't realistically think that's gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it, guys. So guys, that is the brown shade on. I really, really like that. That was really easy to use. The only thing I would say is there is a little bit of kickback on the on those shadows, so just keep that in mind. If you don't like them transferring, kind of dipping in a little bit to the white and the brown, so just keep that in mind. But I do really like the way that looks. I think that looks amazing. Um, so, so yeah, so that's the matte on. I think that's a really nice shade. It's perfect for my skin tone. I can see it, but I can't see it. It's not adding too much depth. It's just really nice, so I like that. So next I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna go in with a bit of this one here. That feels really nice. I like the look of that as well. one I think it's really nice really muted really chill 
but it does still have something about it. It's got a bit of character, not doing anything wild. I'm gonna see what it looks like with this as a topper on top. I really like that, that is really nice. It's really purple, but it's lots of different shades of purple. And it, that sparkly topper has just added a lot of depth to it uh, and given it a bit of a lift. It also was so soft and creamy. It wasn't glittery, it wasn't gritty, it was very smooth. So I do really like that and it's just given it a bit of like funkiness. I'm kind of feeling that. So on this side, I'm gonna try something different. I kind of wanna try the blue. So maybe I'll try the blue. I don't know if I should do it on this side. It seems a bit nuts. I'm gonna see what this white looks like as a base. Going with the blue. This is not the right brush. Gonna go in with the blue. It is quite washy, it's not that pigmented, but I'm not really using the right brush, to be honest. So, let's see if I can use my fingers. This is really easy to build up though, and I really like the fact you can do that with this. They're such different looks, but I really like both of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some liquid eyeliner on and a bit of mascara, even though I am gonna to have to take it off and it's gonna look a bit weird. But I think this one, you really need to see it with a liquid eyeliner. So guys, that is the blue eyeshadow on and that's the purple. I actually love both of these shadows and I love the fact that I was able to use so many shadows on this eye and it still all complement each other. I think I used one, two, three, four shades and they all come, they come together really, really nicely. I think that shimmery shade just really lifted up this eye and just gave it a bit more depth. I absolutely love this blue, it's so good. It took a while to build it up just because I wasn't really using the right brush, but I really love the fact that it can become super opaque and it looks really, really like a proper cool, edgy blue eyeshadow. Uh, it's not very often that you can find a powder, an eyeshadow powder to actually do that, that's not a liquid. So I think this is actually amazing. It's the best blue eyeshadow I've ever tried in terms of in this color story. So I really like it, I think it's really, really nice. I actually don't want to take these off my eyes, but I think what I'll do is I'll try one more look on.
So guys, that is the Gucci eyeshadow palette on. I actually really, really love this. I think it's stunning. I've used pretty much every shade, and I have to say every shade is really easy to use, really wearable. My only problem with it, and it's not a big deal, but my, my only problem with it is that firstly the tray does pop out quite a lot. It doesn't really stay very secure. And my other only problem with it is that there is quite a lot of kickback in each pan and some of the shadows next to each other are slightly lighter. So I don't really like the deeper ones like getting in, like flecking into like the, the white or the blue just because I want them to stay as like pristine as possible. So I think that's my only problem is the kickback. I had to kind of wipe around the sides because it was getting quite messy, but it is nice guys. It is really, really nice. I like this little smoky eye look I ended up creating. I think the silver on top was quite bright. Uh, so I just decided to use the black and smoke it out. It's a really nice black and it really, it added a lot of depth. Obviously it's a bit messy here because I went in with like a bit of a bright glitter, but I probably would use the matte black first and then kind of topper it with some of the other shadows. But I think every shadow I've tried is fantastic. Like this one is really nice. It's a bit light on me, but it's so lovely. Everything I tried is lovely. I don't think I tried the baby pink. I think that's the only one I didn't try, but I'm really impressed with this entire palette. The palettes, the pans do seem fairly small, I can't lie. And I would prefer, since there is a bit of room either side, I would prefer them slightly more spaced out just so that they weren't like dipping into one another as much. But I have to say everything in this, everything I tried is fantastic. The mattes are super creamy, super soft. Everything builds and blends with itself very nicely and looks really good. I'm absolutely bowled over by this blue, light blue shadow here and how amazing it looks just on its own built up. It looks like it looks like I've got like a liquid shadow on it. It's so opaque, so such good coverage. And I've never seen a light blue shadow like this before. It was so nice, I just couldn't take it off. I just love it. So I really like this shadow, this palette. I think every shadow I tried is fantastic. Uh, and it is really, really nice. I think it's definitely worth the money. The price is a lot. The price is probably a bit high, higher than it needs to be. I do think the packaging is gorgeous and the entire package is fantastic, but it is quite pricey. £145 is a lot, but I think if you do like to splurge and you do want something that's very wearable and useful and you can use pretty much every shadow, I would definitely give this a go. I do really like it. I think this orangey shade wasn't as bright as I thought it was going to be, but all of my, I didn't have all of my brushes to hand. So I think if I packed it in a bit more like I did with this blue one, I think it would have looked okay. But yeah, I really like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Will you be buying it? Will you be trying it? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.